Well, top water challenge day, post front, but it got really, really hot and humid. So this could be a good video or a quick one. Stick around. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to tune into the video. My name's Alan, and we are doing a top water challenge today, and we have given ourselves a bit of a situation here. Uh, we are post front. It just had we just had a few big thunderstorms roll through, so that's good. But it got really hot, really humid, really fast. So I'm not really sure how this top water bite's going to go. We are going to be fishing all of the available cover that we can and uh, just working our weed lines and uh, working some uh, uh, open water weed beds too as well but we're gonna have to see how it turns out I'm not sure if the reaction bites gonna be there but we're gonna have to find out let's get to it alrighty guys so we're out on my home pond just north of Brockville normally I would have my head cam on but unfortunately I can't find the hat that I can attach my GoPro to so we have to use the chesty today but, I mean, it is what it is. So the weed lines I was talking about is this shoreline all the way up here and all the way across to back here. I've gotten some uh, pretty good sized bass from the, from the little shrubbery overhangs and stuff like that. After that, we're gonna push through the marsh in between the island and then we're going to into an area that I call the Field of Dreams. And it is a massive, massive, massive area of weed growth where the weeds are about six inches from the top of the water. And it's probably about the size of a football field. And I have gotten some massive, massive blow ups uh, fishing through that area with uh, top water running baits and wake baits. So I'm kind of hoping I can get a reaction strike out of there. I don't know how it is it's going to be with the sun. Um, it is only like 5 p.m. though. So things are going to cool down a little bit and hopefully we can get some fish to trigger. Uh, we're going to start over here though on this little bit of a weed bed and then work our way all the way down the, the line and we'll see what happens. I am fishing with brand new gear too. I just got all of my new rods from Sixth Sense. Uh, you can check them out at SixthSenseFishing.com and I got a whole bunch of new heavy rods and medium heavies and stuff that I have been waiting for for years. And I finally pulled the trigger on them this year and I couldn't be more excited to start throwing these. So here we go guys. The first bait I think we're going to throw is we're going to throw this little white frog. This is a little Japanese frog uh, called a Kara or something like that. Just a little white guy. And I'm throwing this on my new um, six foot heavy fast response series rod from Sixth Sense. Um, I like the fact that they offer um, heavy rods in shorter lengths. So uh, when I saw all those rods, uh, I just jumped all over it. But let's get to, let's get to fishing. <laughs> accuracy is so good with this rod but I do have a little bit of a backlash here so I'll take a minute get rid of that pro casting tips like and subscribe for more I gotta tighten up the spoon a little bit on this it's running away on me normally through this bank I've usually got a hit by now but like I said the weather is against me so this is what makes it a topwater challenge. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. <laughs> it does make a good amount of noise, actually. Now that I'm... Oh, oh, we gotta, we gotta not. Go figure. Oh, you bugger! Yeah, bugger. Oh, where are all the big girls today? 
other than the trees. Two hours later. So now what we're gonna do, if I can bend, because I'm old, we are gonna do some open water fishing. Now the open water fishing is, you'll notice how nice and slick calm everything is. This is where this big bad boy is gonna come into play. This is the Sixth Sense Speed Wake. And this stays along the top of the surface, but it creates a giant V behind the bait. So, and then watch out for the hooks because they're razor sharp. And the thing with this is you don't want to set into the fish. You want to just let the parabolic bend of the rod do the work for you. You're going to need a heavy, heavy rod to throw one of these. It is a bit of a bigger bait, but the hits on these, when it gets hit, is pretty incredible. Right now I just got a nice bluegill pattern one on. I do have a black one and a bone one in my um, in my uh, black pack. But uh, the natural forage around here is bluegill. So I'm going to try the bluegill color for a little while. Let's see if we can get a taker on this. I'd love a taker on this. I haven't caught on the speed wake in a while. And I love using this bait. Absolutely love it. And it's not that it's an ineffective bait. It's a really effective bait. I just haven't been in positions where it was the best choice for the job. There we go. There we go. We got a hit. We got a hit. Got a hit with the speed wake. Not a big one, but... Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. Oh, and he just got himself off. I hope I got that on the chest cam. But it was a pike. And decent size, eater size, but... Nice. That's a fish. That is a fish. Top water challenge. I'd rather a bass. Not a big stinking pike. But he clipped it. He clipped it good, too. You want to cast this thing just a country mile. You want this thing to get way out there. You want to cover as much water as you can. This isn't a bait that you're short casting. Anything like that. There are situations where you will short cast it, but primary... Oh! <sighs> he missed the hook. He missed that tail hook. But we've seen more action on this bait than we've seen on anything else so far tonight. This is great. And that was a bass. He, oh, he's back for it. He came back for it again. Okay, this is that situation where I said you're going to short cast. He swung at it again, swung at it again. What is happening right now? Okay, that was wild. Like four hits in two casts. But yeah, get you get you another look at this. Here you go. There, just like that. Yeah, let's try the bone color. As you can tell, the bone color has a lot of rash on it. There's a reason. Fish love the bone. There's a big log over here to our left. And I'm just going to pitch this frog over to. There he is. There he is. He was hiding right under the log. That fish was hiding right under the log. 
Oh, this is a good bass too, guys. Get up out of there. Come here. Oh, you are a big girl. Oh, boys and girls. Absolutely murdered the white frog. He was hiding out in the... Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Look at that. Look at that fish, guys. That's a nice fish. Oh, you're a big girl. Nice, nice fish. All right. Back you go. Thank you for the fight, girl. Oh, I feel better about that now. You just murderized my frog. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. That's what I was saying about this little white frog, man. It's just a... Just a little beast. I'll throw the speed wake a little bit on the... On the way back, though. Because we've got some open water that we can... Uh, capitalize on on the way back I do have to say I'm really impressed with these six sense rods though holy cow what a game changer guys they load up great they cast great there we go we're on. We're on. Oh, it's a good bass, too. Good bass. Good bass. Very good bass. Oh, it's a good, good, good bass. Oh, it's a good bass. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is an absolute monster. What an absolute monster. Look at that, guys. What an absolute tank. Just a unit. Oh, my God. On the speed wake. Guys, look at the size of this fish. Look at that. Holy crud. I'm going to hook myself with my speed wake if I'm not careful. 18 and a quarter inch. Big girl. Big girl. Oh. Yes. All right, let's get you back in. There you go, my man. 18 and a quarter that's how we do that is how we do guys right here for those of you interested the six cents speed wake running literally one inch into the surface of the water right in that wake zone ah oh, yes oh what a great fish I love fishing topwater. I love fishing wake baits. And this is why those surprise hits on just absolute units of fish. God, that fish was a chad. Just an absolute chad. Oh, I'm so stoked. Dude, guys, I am just twitching right now. What a fish. Love it. Love it. And you know, guys, I know guys, like, I know people who only get excited if the fish is like 19 or 20 or 21. You know what? To be totally honest, any largemouth you can get over 15 inches. And my battery just at the mic friggin' thing just went off again. Any largemouth you can get over 15 inches, that's something to be proud of.
that's something to enjoy because it's a good fight. It's a good fish. You had fun. That's that's just pe people make it too competitive. I find, you know, they're judging they're judging the fish and they're judging themselves way too much. Anything over 15 inches in a largey, that's a great fish. That's a great fish and you should be proud that you caught it. Keep that in mind, guys. He hit it on the pause. I paused it and he hit it. Paused it and he hit it. Ah, oh, and it was that greedy pike. Look at that. That greedy ass pike. I should have grabbed the net for that. Listen here. Hey. Listen here, Jackwad. That's not a bad little gator, actually. Not a bad little gator. All right, bud. There we go. Fish on. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> oh, it was a little bass and he spit her out. Oh. <laughs> the speed wake. This bait, man. This bait is just ridiculous. It's so good. And there, we're on again. It's a pike. It's got to be a pike. No, it's a bass. Oh, get out of there. Oh, get out of there. That's another donkey. That's another good sized fish. <laughs> yeah. And he got all of those hooks. Every one of those hooks is in him. Holy cow, did he ever get that? Oh, look at that, guys. So we're just gonna, we're gonna pedal and we're gonna speed wake our way back to the, to the launch. We're on. <laughs> just a little guy, just a little dink, but there you go. <laughs> One little. <laughs> but there you go, speed wake it is. And he hit about six feet away from the boat. Crazy little bugger. This is so fun. Guys, if you don't fish a wake bait, like a large size wake bait, in conditions like this, you're missing out. You are missing out on some seriously good fishing. And I highly recommend, highly recommend you find yourself a large size wake bait, whether it be a rat, whether it be a speed glide, whether it be a speed wake like this. This is some of the some of the best fishing you can do. There we go. That's a pike. Almost certain it's a pike. And he let go. He took me down into the weeds. <sighs> yeah, it took me down to the weeds and knocked me loose. That was 100% a pike. <laughs> There we go. We're on now. And 
another gentle bite by a great sized bass. And there we go, guys. One to finish off the night. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, I got you through your fin, buddy. I'll be careful here. There we go. Ah, now I got myself. Nice little guy. There you go. Well, guys, that's about all the time I've got for tonight. It's getting dark, even though this twilight bite is just absolutely awesome. We started off slow. But what a great finish to a great night of fishing. If you enjoyed the live fishing content, guys, please leave a like and a subscribe. I would be more than, uh, more than happy to have you join our little group. Um, leave a comment down below on what you thought of the speed wake and what you thought of the uh, care of frog. Um, one thing I did want to point out, as th at the time of recording of this video right now, we are at 99 subscribers. We are one away. One away, guys. If any of you could go ahead and just hit that subscribe button to enjoy some more local uh, local Thousand Islands fishing content, I would so love to have you along for the ride. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, the the six sack uh, next six sacks unboxing will be soon. It is in transit and on the way, so we'll have a new tackle opening coming for you soon. But until then, as always, keep your heads above the water.